Yeah, with Bobby here at Next Gen Labs. Turn the radio down a little. Uh, this is the live screen. Turn it the other way. <laughs> the live screen I have running. I'm running a rugged spot and uh, MD380. And I just want to show you guys something. If you look at the uh, loss in the second from the right column, uh, there are so many factors that can cause this. It's mind blowing. It's it's not the hot spot. You, you have to remember hot spots. Once they're set up correctly, and we do set them up correctly, they're simply the messenger. They volley the signal from the radio to the machine, to the machine, to the brandmeister to servers, and back again. The brandmeister to servers, you know, feed that information back. There are so many things in between the hotspot and the brandmeister to servers, it would blow your mind. Uh, techie people know what's in between, but most people don't. The number of uh, servers, hubs, distribution points, uh, it, it's mind-blowing. It'll, it'll, it'll make your head spin. And there's a tremendous amount of places where the signals can experience loss. Uh, the first place could be, uh, if you have a cable, for example, as I do, could be your coax. Uh, your coax could uh, be, need a tune-up or just need replacing. It actually wears out. Uh, so what we did here a couple years ago, we replaced uh, the coax literally from the modem out to the telephone pole. But even with that, there are network errors. Things do happen along the network. Uh, you'll notice here, as I'm listening to some live QSOs, I got 3100. Uh, Burr rate is uh, zero, loss is zero, loss is three. Uh, some of the transmissions are 40. You also have to remember what this represents, especially look at the loss column, because this is where people freak out. Uh, this can have a tremendous amount of do, uh, to do with the person that is actually transmitting. It can have absolutely nothing to do with your radio or your cable or your modem or anything whatsoever on your side. All of these, as example, uh, is, uh, is exactly that. I'm just listening. I'm not talking right now. You don't see my call sign in there, do you? No, you don't, <laughs> uh, which would uh, be right in the middle under the call signs. I'm just listening to 3100 here on a Sunday afternoon and uh, just looking, watching, and observing how the signals are coming in. Uh, as you can see, the burr rates are extraordinary, either zero or extraordinarily low, uh, all within the pi star, quote unquote, green zone. Uh, and then you'll see in the loss factor, you'll see mostly zeros, but then you see uh, some of the uh, the red that is in 40%, 54%, which is, is high. But that is not the hot spot that I'm on. Uh, that is what the what Brandmeister is trying to deal with between the the person that's sending the TX and their radio, their system, their hotspot, their repeater tower, whatever configuration they have, then going through the Brandmeister system. This is not representative of a problem with uh, with your hotspot or my hotspot. A lot of people don't realize that uh, there is a, a spider web of intercognitivity uh, or connectivity uh, between all the radios and the hotspots and the repeater towers, uh, the internet hubs, internet data centers, centers, the uh, all of the, the everything that's spidering out, all the hubs this information is going through, uh, and it's all done in real time and you know at lightning speed. And that does open up the door for loss, errors, and burr rate, uh, which happens to be happens to pertain to ham radio, but uh, just simply loss errors and uh, data issues with anything being transferred from your computer uh, over the internet, uh, either you know, TX, RX, I'll use that terminology. You can use that because TX and RX is basically what a computer does on the internet, uh, independent of the fact, uh, independent of ham radio. Uh, it's, it's all TX, RX, and a lot of data can get lost in between uh, point, uh, the origination point to the destination point. And you guys have to understand that and not freak out uh, when you see things like the red 
in loss or a high burr rate. Now you happen to see here the burr rate is pretty much zero except for 0 0.04 and 1.4 which is absolutely insignificant. There's no perceivable loss in that to the ear whatsoever. Uh, unless your ears are a lot better than mine are and I've got some pretty good ears. So anyways Bobby here at NextGen KM6IKE just wanted to share that with you and let you guys know that uh, this type of reading in your PyStar dashboard, uh, it's nothing to be concerned with unless it becomes pervasive and persistent. And that's going to rarely ever be the case. Uh, it is typically never going to be your radio, and it won't be a next-gen hotspot. Uh, but all the things in between, the TX and RX, can cause, a, again, a plethora of problems, complications, and this data is just being slung out over the internet airwaves. And there are a tremendous amount of uh, uh, channels and circuits that can lose data. And that is nothing that is unusual, just as long as this is not something that you're seeing, you know, every day and every time you're doing QSOs, uh, you're going to be perfectly fine. Matter of fact, you can even switch over to a different talk group or uh, try... Uh, try a different server on Brandmeister is a very, very good workaround. If you're seeing, for example, high burr rates and loss rates, uh, try another Brandmeister server. Uh, that is a quick and dirty way to absolutely, you know, get around any of these types of issues. And uh, do know it's it's not your hotspot, whether it's a next gen hotspot or any other brand of hotspot. Uh, these types of issues uh, are typically not related to the hotspot. In most cases, there are some exceptions. However, I will tell you the exceptions are, exceptions are really extraordinarily rare. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Bobby, KM6, IKH, and just my observation and uh, sharing a little information and uh, uh, with the uh, next gen uh, customers and future next gen customers here at the next gen Facebook site. KM6IKH, 73.